That sucked. What's up, Heat fans? Your boy Ernest here, back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. We push into 4,000 subscribers. Thank you for all of your support. Um, gonna try to stay positive here, you guys. That's no, that, You know that's what I do, but it's really hard because last night, the Miami Heat lose to the Philadelphia 76ers in heartbreaking fashion. We lose by four. 109 to 105. Now, there's no other way around it. This game sucked. Um, the Heat were losing a big portion in the first quarter. Losing in the second half, you make a nice little run, get the game in the, uh, you, in the second half, the Heat finally get the lead. You get the lead, and then the fourth quarter happens. The Heat have been notorious this year for letting games slide. But one field goal in the last eight minutes of the game, when you were up by 10 points, that's bad. Having two timeouts left at the end of regulation, when you have the ball in your hands, not making an offensive play, that's bad. Having Terry Rozier chalk up horrendous three-point shots at the end of the game. He does make one, but some bad threes, that's bad. When you have Jimmy Butler, when the ball in his hands with 11 seconds left, not knowing what to do, what shot to take, and you have two timeouts left, Coach Spo, you take a timeout. Allowing Jimmy Butler to chuck up a three-pointer with 10 seconds left, why? Haywood Highsmith grabs that rebound. Okay, we have another chance. Call a timeout right away. He loses the ball. It was just a bad night at the office for the Miami Heat because it looked like the Heat had the win. You were up with five minutes left. It looked like the Heat were gonna win four straight, capitalize and take advantage of the seventh seed, but the Miami Heat, Miami heated it yesterday, basically. It's what they've been doing all season long. It's what they did during the season last year as well. The Miami Heat, every time they had an obstacle to face, they failed. But whenever we were ready to count them out, they rised up. So even though last night was bad, you guys know what we do here in Miami Heat Talk. We always try to take a negative and turn it into a positive. Even though it's really difficult, you guys, I'm going to try. Because last night we had some good showings. First and foremost, Kevin Love. Kevin Love. 19 minutes gives you 11 points and 16 rebounds. Unreal. Nikola Jovic, in 20 minutes, 11 points, 5 rebounds. Great. In my opinion, the reason why we lost this game was because of Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. Jimmy Butler goes 7 for 17, 20 points. Bam Adebayo goes 6 for 15, 14 points, 11 rebounds, a double-double, but a negative 29. Terry Rozier, 22 points, 7 for 20 shooting. Not a great offensive night by our big three guys. Duncan Robinson goes one for four. It's just a bad night at the office, but the Heat stuck it in. You had Haywood Highsmith. You had Kevin Love giving you great play from the bench. Jaime Jaquez, yeah, six points, four rebounds, but a plus 25 out there. So there is things to look at with this team as a positive. Yes, you lose last night. Yes, you are back at the seventh seed. But it ain't over, y'all. There's still six games left in this season. Why am I saying that, y'all? Because I'm not a type of person that just likes to look at the negative and just stay down. Nah, that's not me. That ain't life. When adversity hits you, when negativity slaps you in the face, you just keep your head up and you move forward. If that was the last game of the season, then yeah, I'd be pretty upset. But it's not. We got six more games to go. You got a game tonight against Houston, and it's like I said, the true test Sunday against Indiana. And if anything, that game last night pissed off the Miami Heat and should light a fire under their ass. I am fully confident, and I know this team can turn it around. Now, I got to give props to somebody, man. Um, before we move forward, for the people that subscribe to my channel, I'll show you, I'm sure you heard of them. But last night, beautiful takes by my boy Anthony DiNardo. 
Anthony Donardo is another Miami Heat channel. Good friend of mine. We got some good stuff coming for y'all soon. But last night, he was on his channel and he was ranting on this Miami Heat team. Now, I got to say, besides channels like myself and Team to Beat Miami Heat, Anthony Donardo has been riding that positivity train all year as well. But you see a guy like that show his emotions, show his frustrations in the Miami Heat. And he's right. If you listen to his channel, what he said last night in the post game, everything he said was on the money from this Miami Heat team. And that's what I love about guys like Anthony DiNardo, Miami, and Team To Be Miami Heat, this channel, Tobin. We promote positivity for the Miami Heat. Do we get upset? Do we get frustrated, want to rip our hair out with this team sometimes? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, not just with Miami, not, not just with this Miami Heat team, but in life, you got to look at things half glass full. Because what's the point of looking at it half glass empty? Now, you got your other channels out there. Oh, man. And you know what, guys? I didn't post anything last night because I wanted to get the lay of the land. I wanted to see what everybody was saying before I gave my thoughts. Because, yeah, that game was bad. But you know what's worse? Miami Heat Twitter sometimes. It's hilarious. But you got your people that promote positivity. You got your people that are trucking and moving forward. But then you got the other people the people that want to ride the graving train when things are going good because when we were riding that three-game winning streak after we beat you New York, we got the sixth seed. What was everybody doing? Riding back on the gravy train. ESPN, Stephen A. Smith saying that we're not we're, we're a team that nobody wants to see. You got other Miami Heat cha channels that are bashing these players, saying they're trash, but then we win three games straight. We get the sixth seed, and it's like, okay, the Heat can do it now. But then the Heat lose last night against Philadelphia, and now it's trade everyone. Jesus, Lord, I'm telling y'all. Being a Miami Heat fan is so funny because you see people, when we're doing good, they're riding the train and they're supporting you. But one thing that goes wrong, everybody loses their minds. So what I'm trying to say, Heat fans, is don't listen to the negativity. Don't allow yourself to be consumed by the hate and the trolls and the bandwagon fans. Because we know in a seven-game series, it doesn't matter where we are. Don't nobody want this smoke. And you know what? I'm going to take another negative and turn it even to a bigger positive. Because ladies and gentlemen, what have I been saying all year long? What have I been calling myself? Miami Heat Nostradamus. And ladies and gentlemen, I did it again. What have I been saying for the last three weeks now? Tyler Hero will return. I stopped talking about it because... I wanted, I wanted God and I wanted the universe to present it. I wanted God to just show us that if we keep a positive mindset, we will be, we will be rewarded. And ladies and gentlemen, we are. Because it was reported yesterday that Tyler Hero is traveling with the team to Houston for the game tonight against the Rockets. What did I say a couple weeks ago? I said with the PRP injection, it's going to take a few weeks to heal. I said it would take two weeks to reevaluate, but then I did my research in the PRP. And what did I tell you guys? One week of rest, two weeks of rehab, and Tyler will be back. Today, ladies and gentlemen, the game tonight against Houston is officially three weeks since Tyler Hero got that PRP injection. Now, will he play tonight? It's uncertain. He's questionable. And the moment I hear, I will let you guys know. However, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Keep a positive mindset. Speak positive things into the world and the Lord will gift you, excuse me, gift you if you stay positive. Because ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hopefully tonight we will finally see a fully healthy Miami Heat roster. And you know what was last night bad? Sure. But let's remember and let's just put last night where it belongs, yesterday. Let's keep our heads straight and let's keep moving forward because we got a game tonight against Houston. And it's funny, y'all, because a lot of teams are starting to drop like flies now. A lot of teams are starting to get hurt at the wrong time. Julius Randle's out for the year. Old Gianna Nobi is injured for New York. Donovan Mitchell's playing injured with Cleveland. You don't know the full extent of Joel Embiid with the Philadelphia 76ers. He's still on minutes restriction. This is the time for the Miami Heat to attack, and it's time to attack now. Yes, you lost last night. Yes, you dropped yourself in seating. Does it suck? Absolutely. Can we do not anything about it? No. So let's just keep moving forward. But now we got our man. We got Boy Wonder back. We got Tyler Hero back. 
So Tyler Hero needs to do exactly what I've been saying. Bring your ass off the bench. Be the six man. Be the, be the igniter off the bench. Be the spark off the bench. We need 15 to 20 points a game from Tyler Hero. And I know that he can do it against the second unit. You give me a fully healthy Miami Heat roster in a seven game series. And I am confident and I know that we can do it. It was a bad game by Bam Adebayo last night. It was a bad game by Jimmy Butler last night, ladies and gentlemen. But one thing I am fully confident in is that in a seven game series, you're not going to see consistent bad games games by Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. You bring Tyler Hero off the bench, you allow Terry Rozier to cook, let your role players do their thing and help you win games. And ladies and gentlemen, this loss against the Philadelphia 76ers will be an afterthought once we get into the playoffs. Now, what do we do? We take it game by game. You got to get that dub tonight against the Rockets. No question. No question. Because you need to ride into Sunday against Indiana with everything ready. This game against Indiana on Sunday, especially after the loss last night against Philadelphia, is bigger than we ever thought. Because had you beaten Philadelphia last night, you would have stayed the sixth seed and had that little cushion. You don't now. You're a half a game down from the sixth seed, and now it's time to attack. Tyler Hero needs to accept his role as the sixth man coming off the bench. I've explained this before, but obviously I have to explain it in every video because if I don't, people don't watch the previous stuff and they don't remember. So, I feel that it's better for Tyler Hero to come off the bench, not because I think Duncan Robinson is better, because I think that next to Terry Rozier, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and Nikola Jovic starting, Duncan Robinson is the better piece because it's better for chemistry. Remember guys, basketball is not for one player. It's a team sport. It's all about chemistry. With Duncan Robinson out there, he spaces the floor. Duncan's the shooter. Tyler can hit the three, but that's not his game. He's an isolator. He's a ball dominant player which is what Terry Rozier is. So you have two players in the backcourt that do the same thing. It's a cause for chaos. With Duncan Robinson and Terry Rozier starting, you have your shooter, you have your ball dominant player. You bring either one of those guys off the court to the bench, who inserts for them? Tyler Hero. Preferably for Terry Rozier. Because if Tyler Hero plays against the second unit players, coming back from an injury, it's gonna build his confidence better. And who knows, during the playoffs, you might be able to start Tyler. Play around with the matchup, see what works best for you. But ladies and gentlemen, this is all good news. Now, I know Terry Rozier hit his knee last night in the game. We're still waiting for an update there. Um, doesn't seem to be anything serious. He stayed in the game, but you know how these things work. It's depending on how he feels when he wakes up today. I just want a fully healthy roster for come playoff time, y'all. That's, that's all I want. That's really all I want. You give me a fully healthy roster, let's see what this team can do. So have no fear, Heat fans. Your boy Ernest is here. You know I'm going to keep up with the positivity. Ain't nothing going to stop me from doing that. But I want to hear from you guys. After that loss last night, how you feeling? Have you quit? Have you given up? Or are you like me? You still ready to ride with this team? Ain't no bandwagon fans allowed here. So let me know what you think in the comments, y'all. Let me know your honest opinions. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your boy Ernest here, always spitting that positivity. And that is enough said. Stay positive, Heat fans. We got this.